are the most important generation of human beings to ever walk this planet. Earth First believes that the worldwide environmental crisis is so dire they must shock the American public, industry, and even mainstream environmentalists with their words and actions. If I knew I had a fatal disease, I would definitely do something like strap dynamite on myself and take out Glen Canyon Dan. Uh, hey. <clears throat> Which side are you on? 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 Come all of ye earth firsters and hear this tale I'll tell of how the forest service would turn this land to hell. Which side are you on? 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 Well, saying men don't see no, no neutrals can there be. It's okay. It's okay. We've, we've double checked that fire service canteen. Somebody already erased the label, so it's okay. safe. I don't dislike the Sierra Club. I despise the Sierra Club. In fact, I hate every leftist, green, communist, environmentalist that ever lived. Are any of them here? Well, I hate you all. I hate you. I'd have been out of here by now. Except for my, my helicopter pilot only has a license to land on buildings. <laughs> They're too small. Those buildings are way too small. 
So is everybody having a good time here? Everybody have a good day. Enjoy being here. We you weren't until you got here. We're down in front. Enjoy being here. I hate it. Look around you. Look at this. All these trees. It's wonderful. Isn't what a it? waste. It's a waste. Wrong. Do you know that the, my good friends and business associates at the United States Forest Service <laughs> told me that every time a tree is cut down, 50 jobs are created. <laughs> Just think of it. Look around you. We could have thousands of people here cutting down hundreds of trees. We could probably make, what, 50 family homes out of these trees? 30 if you're in Utah. I like them Mormons. They pump them out. We need more people. Overpopulation, no such thing. More people? More workers? I get to pay lower salaries. More profit for me. In fact, I think I'm going to start a new movement. I'm going to call it Birth First. <laughs> no compromise in the defense of mother. <laughs> Earth. Speaking of overpopulation, did you read what that radical dear Abby wrote the other day? She said, we have two choices. We can increase our death rate or decrease our birth rate. What do y'all think about that? Oh yeah? I bet, I bet she's one of your leaders. Well, listen to me, Abigail Van Duren. Listen to me. It comes in threes. It comes in threes, Edward Abbey, Abby Hoffman, dear Abby. <laughs> we'll wipe out all your leaders in one month, one year. We got Foreman, didn't we? Dave Foreman, he's not here, is he? I wasn't sure a lot of you men kind of look like him. I first met Foreman a few years ago. I was on a raft trip with my spiritual advisor. You may know him. James Watt. James Watt. What? 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 <laughs> we were on a raft trip down to Colorado. You probably heard Dave's side of it. Well, James kicked his ass. <laughs> I'm always going to be grateful to James. He gave me the best definition for wilderness that I've ever had. Three minutes, asshole. Wilderness. Wilderness. Thanks. <laughs> Wilderness is a space between my car and the front door. <laughs> he gave me this great recipe for fried snail darter. And you know how when you eat a weird kind of meat, you say, hmm, kind of tastes like chicken? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Fried snail darter kind of tastes like spotted owl. All right, I'll get you. I'll get you. Smile! <laughs> Why, somebody shot me the bird. What's the problem here? You don't like cameras? You don't like cameras? Why is everybody always running around going, Focus! 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 They tell me something. What is this shit? What is... I don't see any football. I'll tell you what, you combine this with this, you seen that too? Like and I'll get you a job. I'll get you a job. You can park my jet. No so you having a good time here? Have a good time? Yeah, I heard about the kind of time you're having. That barbecue you had the other night. Tell me something. What kind of sauce goes with stars and stripes? Oh, don't get me wrong, I really like food. Food is a big business for me. Big business, in fact. I don't remember what I was going to say next. Yes? Oh, no. You're all right. Oh, it's, it's taken care of. <laughs> in fact, thanks. Uh, in fact, I'm going to make a lot of money soon. I got this contract with the government. I'm going to be storing their nuclear hazardous waste. Little do they know, 
I'm not going to store it, I'm going to recycle it. I thought that might interest you. I'm going to recycle it. I'm going to put it in shiny little packages. I'm going to sell it on TV with sex, sex, sex. I'm going to make it lemon flavored. People are going to eat it up. You know they will. Look at foodie radiation. Everybody's into it, right? And food is a big part of my life's philosophy. I'd like to share with you if that's okay. Thanks. I'm... Life is like... Life is like a shit sandwich. Because the more bread you have, the less shit you have to eat. <laughs> well, listen, okay, you might have got a wrong impression of me. I'm really a nice guy. In fact, I recently hosted a benefit, made thousands of dollars for a very worthy cause. You may have heard of it. It was for Mothers Against Drunk Driving. We had a celebrity demolition derby. <laughs> if, if, since Alan was so successful, I'm going to hold a uh, scrambled egg breakfast for Operation Rescue. Well, I see my chauffeur-driven ORV limousine is pulled in, and I'm going to have to go now, unless you beg me to stay. But I do have one last thing. <laughs> I have one last thing. It's a little poem I wrote. I thought I'd, I'd share with you. I call it the Businessman's Sutra. And you probably know all the words, so go ahead and join right in. Bigger is better. Bigger is better. Produce and consume. Produce and consume. Profits, not people. Profits, not people. Greed is good. Greed is good. Cut the trees. Dig the rocks. Graze the grass. Destroy the earth. Destroy. If you don't know business, you don't know dick! How did that guy get on stage anyway? <laughs> Save the Siskiyou. Thank you. All right, here we go. I could be in big trouble. I'd like to share something here. So. Say the right thing. Were you at Mount Shasta or in Chaco Canyon or in your RV and missed the whole thing? Yeah, by the Starbucks convergence. Were you one of the 100? 44,000 Or one of the ones Who didn't make it come true Thanks a lot! <laughs> Did you celebrate The age of Aquarius? Freak out cause you hit age 42 What was your name at the harmonic convergence? 
Was it sunflower or moonbeam? <laughs> Becky or friend? Becky. Did you stay up all night? Chanting till morning. Break out your copy of Working Man's Death. I never put it away! Did you go to rebirthing and have nothing happen? Damn, that's embarrassing. Were you mad at your parents for treating you kind? Mom always liked me best. Did you have an out of body experience? Or were you just a little out of your mind? Great shrooms, man! Where were you for the harmonic convergence? I was in Southern Oregon, man. I, had a, I was just the right place. It was wonderful. What did you win? Did you say the right thing? I was back behind the kitchen trying to sneak some caffeine. When I met this guy from Santa Cruz doing the same thing. Felt so much better. Is like they used to. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can veto them if you don't want them. I don't got plenty more. <laughs> and then I'll do something. All right. It's okay. We know it. Don't worry. It's okay. I'd rather they scream for more than scream for less. <laughs> <laughs> play. Or don't scream can you play solo, solo, and far away? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Uh, what are we playing? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Uh, hippies. <laughs> No hippie, no, 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 no. Once there were some hippies living amongst the trees, picking flowers, smoking joints, hair down to their knees. Then one day they woke up to a nasty chainsaw's roar and a logging crew was cutting down the public land next door now our hippies were not happy with mother nature going down so they called their local congressmen and some bureaucrats in town But our hippies' words weren't needed. Oh, but 
they swore they would prevail. So they bought some Stanley hammers and some 60 penny nails. No, they sure don't make it be like they used to. Well, they used to live in peace, but now they're spiking. to the woods, and they figured that 500 spikes should fix that forest good, <laughs> and they poured sand into the crankcase before to get a dozer sick, and they put kale drops on the whole road to make their tires leak a bit, no, they should all make hippies. Kicking ass, no, they sure don't make hippies like they used to. No, hippies don't take no shit anymore. The next day at the work site, the loggers had a big surprise. Their dozer engine seized up. And their tires dropped like flies. But before they could raise a chainsaw, they found this note and cursed. Cause it read, no dice, these trees are spiked. Sign love and peace, earth. honey bucket and you'll be safe and plus you'll make someone's garden even more prosperous than it already is. <laughs> and this is a recreation of uh, a, a morning, I think yesterday morning. And I'll start from my wake up and keep uh, keep watch of what I do and duplicate it in your own lives. <laughs> Put theory into practice. We want the real thing, not a... Okay, I'm asleep. <laughs> we want the real thing. <laughs> Tequila, the drum and the, oh. the mad poets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit, the kitchen blew over again. <laughs> <laughs> no water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. All right, this thing's full. Of oh, right. I dumped this out first. <laughs> What the hell is this picture frame doing here? I might as well sit on it.
<laughs> hey, put a little sawdust in the bottom. <laughs> Is that a bird call? <laughs> I see those fucking sawmills are good for something at least. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's that copy of the journal? <laughs> It's raining again. <laughs> oh. It's a good thing this toilet paper is in a bag sealed so it didn't get wet. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I hate toilet paper. Use a journal. But buy it first. <laughs> <laughs> I find that leaves have a corrugated surface that works a little better to get those little deposits. It's sort of like trying to clean a prune. God, that beer plays hell with your digestive tract. <laughs> well, if I don't cover this with something, it's not going to compost correctly. And also the flies might get to it, so I better put some more of the sawdust on it. And completely cover the fecal matter. <laughs> ah, there, now that that's done, I'll take this reme and cover the seat. And then I'll take this rubber band and I'll hold it up. God damn it. <laughs> now to make extra safe, I'll put this picture frame back on it. <laughs> then I'll put the lid back on it in case it rains. What about the but wind? see, this remake keeps the air going in there. That way you have an aerobic system, which means it'll decompose properly and won't just rot. I'm gonna rock on top for the wind. He's not done yet. <laughs> right. Just right. Anyway, you know, most of my stuff isn't really like sing-along caliber, and, and for that I, I ask your forgiveness, because uh, it should be a community experience, but that's just not the way my muse hands it to me. But anyway, this one's a sing-along. This one's a real sing-along, and it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's called uh, Keeping My Wigglies. Now some men talk to women about undying love. Some men preach to women about a great God above. And reluctance to bear children really makes these peckers frown. So they legislate the will of God and shut the clinics down. Well, I agree that abortion is wrong. That's the reason I sing this song. Why should any baby have to go such a nasty jip? But when you make motherhood a duty, then the sisters get unruly. But we can stop abortion, men. Get it snipped! I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. So when it comes to loving, there'll be nothing in your oven. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. 
I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. And I love you, fertile woman, but those babies just keep coming. So I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. Now some men go into politics to rule the nation state. Some men go to the mountaintop to pray and meditate. Oh, but me, I'm going down to see a doctor of urology and say, hey, doc, put my balls on the plate. Yes, I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. So when it comes to loving, There'll be nothing in your oven. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. And I love you, fertile woman, but those babies just keep coming. So I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. Woo! Now some men join the army to play in the killing fields. Some men go down to the auto shop to buy a new set of mag wheels. I guess they figure that makes them some kind of hero. But I'm going down to Planned Parenthood, yes. There's a sister on the other side of the desk who smiles at me and says, you're one big zero. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. So when it comes to loving, there'll be nothing in your oven. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. And I love you, fertile woman, but those babies just keep coming. And I'm keeping my wigglies to myself. Oh. Yeah. Okay, uh, I have a number of poems, most of them short, and the advantages about short poems is that if they're bad, they're just bad for a short time. Um, this is about a feeling. I've lived overseas in what's called the third world for about six years, and this is a feeling that I've had. And I have a daughter and a son. I have a lovely adopted daughter who's on her own now, and my son who's here. And I've thought that it's actually maybe worse for us when we those of us with children that we're responsible for when we see what's happening on the planet because we have to look toward our children, we have to justify it to our children. And so this is a feeling I've had when I've traveled in the third world. This is called, I have seen children dying. Thin fingers reaching for me, cracked lips, bare ribs, wet eyes, arms like small dead branches with palms open wide. Whatever I give them will not make a difference. Sometimes I don't even try. For I have seen children dying in Haiti, Bangladesh, Tanzania. I have seen children dying in El Salvador, Tangier, Kenya. And okay, okay, okay. I guess it would be better if they just weren't there at all. But they are, they are, they are. And okay, okay, I guess there are too many. I agree, I agree, I agree. But every time I look into their eyes, I see my daughter's and son's eyes. I do, I do, I do. And I just cannot take it. I just cannot take it. Cannot take it. I just cannot take looking into those children's eyes. from the Illinois River in the Kalmyopsis Wilderness. Yeah. And this place is the most beautiful place I've ever been in my life. Wow. And it's incredible. But I don't know what else to say except for I'll sing you the song. <laughs> yeah. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen 
the wind on the river shimmering. The prettiest tune I've ever seen is the wind on the river shimmering. Oh, Illinois, you bless me with your graceful winding water. And I stand here on this mountainside, feeling at peace in my whole being. And I don't want no rubies or diamonds. And I don't want no gold or silver. But I'll feast my eyes on that jewel. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen is the wind on the river shimmering. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen is the wind on the river shimmering. Come all you sisters from around the world. Lovers of rubies and lovers of diamonds. Come all you human beings, women and men. Lovers of gold and of silver. Come and feast your eyes on that jewel. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen is the wind on the river shimmering. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen is the wind on the river shimmering. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen is the wind on the river shimmering. The prettiest jewel I've ever seen is a wind on the river Thank you so much. I'd really appreciate some water to drink. Cause, uh, I don't particularly care where it comes from. There's a campaign behind you. For reasons I'd rather not explain, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Got it? <laughs> Keep that near. Should have brought one of my own, you know, but I was nervous about bringing a canteen. <laughs> Well, you know, at the uh, campfire the other night, lots of people were singing along with my songs, which I consider the greatest form of flattery there is. Um, so if you have one of my songs that you'd particularly like to hear, you're welcome to holler it out. I don't play no Willie Nelson songs. All right. Pardon me? Good. Small brain. Small, small brain. Oh. Small brain. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, small brains think alike, you know, isn't it a coincidence? Uh, I was just thinking of doing that song. When 
I sit in contemplation of the human situation, I often get a certain sense of pride. Our achievements are many and mighty. The evidence cannot be denied. But my reverie is shaken and my thoughts are always taken by that tragedy that happened long ago. When they're moved through the land, beings awesome and grand, the fabulous dinosaur. Well, they was creatures in a manner quite reptilian in their unique and stylish ways. Their numbers could be reckoned in a million but there are zero of these heroes in the world today. They had music, art, and fashion. There was dinosauric passion. And I think they'd be enraged and mortified when they're mentioned today. It is only to say their brains were small and they died. Flintstone. Meet the Flintstones, <laughs> they're a page right out of history. Well, perhaps some asteroid that Mother Earth could not avoid became the agent of their premature demise. I've heard that these things can happen, but who are we to criticize when we'll spend most any price to have the ultimate device? that ensures a perfect global suicide. I would venture instead that the humanoid head is where the tinier brain resides. And when we're gone, our works will start to crumble until nothing can be found. In 10 million years, some other guy will stumble on our fossil some asshole will begin to expound some scientific study to his cockroach science buddy how the evidence could never be denied they were big dumb and slow they couldn't go with the flow their brains were small and they died Well, what do you follow a song like that with? <laughs> nah, no, no, no. Here's one you can help me out on. <laughs> I'm an earth first and it ain't no jive. I was walking in the woods before I was five. I'm a man of the mountains and I like it why. But the noisy machine just can't arrive this child. Well, just the other day, I was up in the hills, singing to the coyotes in the whippoorwills. When off in the distance I hear a roar, my heart starts screaming, what the hell this for? Cause all the critters are running, in panic they flee, the bat of the hell coming through the trees. I Me, mean, oh my, what could it be? It was a big fat man on an ATV. I've been around and seen some sights, but the one coming at me filled my heart with fright. Chartreuse trousers and pink golf shoes, and revving his engine like the bikers do. All the kids are running, and panic they flee, the better the hell coming through the trees. I Me, mean, oh my, what could it be? It was a big fat man on an ATV. Didn't even see me race down by. Wait, no, that's not how it goes. I stood by a tree as he raced down by with his frozen grin and his glassy eye. He didn't even see me, and of that I'm sure, because I was flipping him off and with a few choice words. The kids were running 
and panic they flee. A bat out of hell coming through the trees. A me, oh my, what could it be? It was a big fat man on an ATV. the matter to the river and then on back around and around he laid his track a death and destruction and a me it's plain you drive an atv you're sitting on your brain all the critters are running and panic they flee a bat out of hell coming through the trees i mean oh my what could it be it was a big fat man on an atv a me, oh my, what could it be? It was a big fat man on an ATV. It was a big fat man on an ATV. Thank you very much. I'm going back to Idaho, back where the same moon rain flows. I'm going back to the high country snow. I'm going back to Idaho. This is a new poem. It's called The Reinhabitation. The wild is reinhabiting. The wolf's not waiting anymore. The cougar's coming. Hopefully, the ivory bill's cry will be heard soon. It stammer in the deep woods after it migrates from Cuba. And the panther, the alligator, both coming to close Alligator Alley forever. They aren't patient, those ones. They refuse to wait forever, just as Bear refuses. Old Blackie's making a comeback in California. Maybe his cousin Grizz will get the message. Re-inhabit, take back his territory, what he owned before we stole it from him. The soundtrack of the wild isn't just playing on your tape deck anymore. The tape's off. Didn't you hear it stop? Those are real wolf howls coming through your door. Here's a poem I did around a couple campfires here. It's called Things with Genes. Things with chromosomes and genes terrorizing our machines. It's an outrage, it's unfair. Condor, squirrel, grizzly bear. Used to be machines could dance. Now there's all these dadgum plants. I had a bulldozer for my squeeze. Now there's all these dadgum trees. Machines aren't just metallic parts, they have engines for their hearts. Hearts that sometimes are surprised, hearts that can be terrorized. Yellow Dozer lies asleep, dreaming dreams that make it weep. Tears of oil run down its frame, things with genes they are to blame. Things with chromosomes and genes terrorizing our machines. It's an outrage, it's unfair. Red wolf, owl, grizzly bear. All right. All right. It certainly is a lovely group we have gathered here this, this oh, afternoon. Love my group. <laughs> is, Mitch, is that a kachina in your loincloth, or are you happy to be here? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to change my set around a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of Mitch, Mitch gave me a call when he was... Uh, Ready to set out on this ancient forest rescue expedition. Give me a call to know if there's any way I could rendezvous with them somewhere along the east coast there. And I said, oh hell, let me think about it. Yeah, sure. And after we hung up, I got thinking about it, thinking about it. Couldn't go to sleep that night until I wrote this song. Just, just a visual of, of a big old Douglas fir on a flatbed, cruising through downtown Manhattan Island. This is excited the hell out of me. Hey, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I think he is happy to be here. <laughs> Song's called Subsidized Stumps. Let me tell you all a tale about a tree that came to town. There was no act of nature that cut it to the ground. It was not killed by drought or lightning or flood of driving rain. It was a throwaway mentality that flushed it down the drain. I said, don't cut down that tree. It's part of a higher plan. Diversity just ain't your cup of tea. I said, don't cut down that tree. Sit back and let it be. Cause if you don't, you have to deal with me. Mm -hmm. Where it's pristine with these man-made machines They cut thousand-year-old giants to their knees <laughs> With their jaws made of steel They don't reason, they don't feel But they're driven by the corporation's greed They sure have got some nerve Cutting down the last reserve With help from the Forest Service I know that sounds absurd We subsidize the slaughter With aid from Uncle Sam A way bon voyage to all those lives They're headed for Japan Sayonara man I said don't cut down that tree It's part of a higher plan Diversity just ain't your cup of tea I said don't cut down that tree Sit back and let it be Cause if you don't, you have to be with me mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um. <laughs> There are many mysteries In amongst these ancient trees From the nitrogen-rich soil To the tallest canopy They purify the water They help to clear the air Provide the food and shelter for species yet declared. The American bald eagle sits atop the highest bough. Its neighborhood of earth and wood is shared by a spotted owl. There's flicker, hawk, falcon, salamander, flying squirrel. Yeah, but if we waste this wonderland, they too will leave this world. Come on, help me out, sing it. I said, don't cut down that tree. It's part of a higher plan Diversity just ain't your cup of tea I said don't cut down that tree Sit back and let it be Cause if you don't you have to deal with me Watch out, those cameras look loaded Well, I tell you what's the fuss. Ancient trees ain't like us. Well, they put back more than they take away. As we strive to have more stuff, we take more than enough. We use what we want and throw the rest away. These trees might end up as junk mail, filling up the old waste pail. They could end up as a diaper on my baby's dairy air. They could end up as some plywood or landscape for your lawn. Yeah, but if we keep on cutting them, they're sure to end up gone, forever gone. I said, don't cut down that tree. It's part of a higher plan. Diversity just ain't your cup of tea. Obviously, I said, don't cut down that tree. Sit back and let it be Cause if you know you have to deal with me mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to deal with me You're gonna have to live with yourself too You have to deal with your children and your children's children Short-term profit don't make for no strong economy You ain't kidding me, job security my ass Jeans.
said I got time for 10 more songs. <laughs> oh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Shot me 10 fingers. I don't know what to say. Well, it's been a very good year for Bill and I. We got a job with the CIA to investigate the FBI. <laughs> I like to do this song for uh, one of the one of the Daves in my life. For, uh, Dave Foreman is with us here today in spirit. Daryl Foreman? No, not Daryl Foreman. Well, it's been one tough year, even for a guru. I wouldn't mind at all. Once 89 is all through, early on had a fight. It added years on my life. I was the victim of a recluse spider bite. Well, it me flat on my stomach with a hole in my back. While the doctors and the nurses picked and probed and chit and chat. I feel like a number. I went back to my home for some deals of delight. Laid my head down, closed my eyes. I was set for the night. I had my earplugs on. To drum out the hum of a nearby interstate where the stink mobiles run. When what to my awakening I should appear? Three FBI agents in their full riot gear. Say it ain't you, the woo woo guru. Um, um, ain't you, the woo 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 guru. Um, um, we know who you are and we know where you've been We have our sources and they tell us of the trouble you're in Your terrorist munchkins act out your deeds While you're a menace and a threat to the society Join with us there, try that, that's it Join with us there Such feeling so you're coming with us, yeah, you're making our night We haven't seen this much surveillance since the king and civil rights Straight from my heart, I haven't felt such a spark Since we infiltrated hippies in their anti-war march The CIA and KGB's got nothing on us Dave, you better get some pants on, this here is a bust uh -huh. And you, Mrs. Woo Woo Guru you better leave this man if you want to save your own skin. Well, a full-fledged environmental war's been declared. You said it from the start that you would side with the bears. You want to save the planet with your eco-defense loyalty to Mother Nature and the old monkey ranch. <laughs> Try that one. You hope to open our hearts when we open our minds You say there's so much injustice and so little time Equal rights for all species from large to small Ones that fly, ones that swim, ones that run, jump and crawl Diversity in our ecology will sustain a strong stability If given opportunity Time to pay your mortgage, no one lives here for free Stop treating wilderness like it's a cash commodity And now Okay children, join with me if you will In singing the Woo Woo Guru Review It's fun, it's safe, it's easy, come on Ain't you the Woo Woo a Guru I'm having a hum, I'm having a hum Ain't you the Woo Woo a guru, man, him and I'm on a woo 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 woo. Ain't you the woo woo woo? Come on, you sofa slugs, come join the cause. Ain't you the woo woo? Yeah, stop the land developers from breaking the laws. Ain't you a woo woo? A guru, him and I'm on a 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 him and What's your point? What are you looking for? Got it. Right.